Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be celebrating the end of the year by looking at all of our best railfan catches from the year 2022. So this will be a compilation video, and we're not going to be watching whole trains, just the locomotives, and possibly any freight cars that were interesting. And also, this video is not going to be nearly as long as it has been in years past, it's just real life circumstances made it so that in 2022 I did not get to go rail fanning nearly as much as I used to. So this year's video will be a bit shorter. So sit back, relax, and enjoy all of these awesome trains. It's the first week of January 2022, and our first catch here has a YN2 A trailer. And here we see a car speed through the crossing after it's activated. about a week later on a wet January day and we caught this northbound led by double SD40-3 Reaper. And some interesting graffiti there. Not long after that train, this CSX local job would pass by, led by a pair of Jeeps. A few days later and we'd catch this northbound, led by a pair of GEs going elephant style. But the locomotives weren't what was special about this trip. Check out this old chassis system boxcar, still trooping along out on the main line. An awesome sight. It was now the end of January and we had reports online of an awesome train coming. And while I was waiting for it, a utility crew showed up at my normal spot blocking the view of the tracks. Luckily I made it into downtown Dayton just in time to catch it here. The CSX office car special heading through town, led by two of their three B&O inspired F40PH locomotives. One of my favorite catches of the year here. And while I did do some rail fanning in February, there was nothing really noteworthy that I caught, so now we're into the beginning of March 2022.
Check that out. Of all things, an ET44 AH leading long hood forward with a load of brand new M1A1 Abrams main battle tanks fresh from the factory. Another awesome catch. And that same day, a little while after the train with the tanks, we'd catch this northbound with CSX 454, the Spirit of Magnolia leading. A week later, on a rainy day, and we catch this maintenance of way ballast tamper coming through. A few days later and we'd catch this Norfolk Southern train with the Wabash Heritage Unit trailing. Another awesome catch. It was now the end of March and we catch this train with a Canadian national owned ex-city rail unit trailing there. And with our first train we caught in April, we have one of the new SD70AH Tier 4 locomotives trailing. An awesome catch. Later that same day, we'd catch this northbound intermodal led by a YN2-8 with a mismatched color panel on the cab. And still that same day, we'd catch this four-unit lash-up with a GP35 road slug trailer. And just before leaving that day, we'd catch this lash-up with a GP38-2 trailing. It was still early April, and we'd be over on the Norfolk Southern Line to catch a nice lash-up.
check that out. A BNSF Heritage One paint scheme and the Delaware, Lackawanna, and Western Heritage Unit. Mid-April and we catch this Union Pacific Unit leading a Norfolk Southern train across the bridge. Later that week, we'd be in downtown Dayton to catch this NS train crossing the river. It was now the last week of April and we catch this northbound with an SD40-2 trailer. And later that same day we'd have another car running the gates. And a bit of foreign power here with the Norfolk Southern unit leading, followed by two Canadian Pacific units. After that, we'd have a southbound with double Y and two locomotives in the lead. And on the very last day in April, we'd have a train meet on our hands. Union Pacific Power with a flared radiator SD-70M trailing as a different CSX freight train heads north on the track behind it there. Two trains passing each other, which I didn't catch nearly as much in 2022 as I did in years past. It was now the middle of May and we bang back in downtown Dayton and catch this four unit lash up with a road slug trailing going across the river here.
On a different, much more wetter day that same week, we'd catch this lash up with two Jeeps trailing. It was now early June, and we'd have this southbound with a single Jeevo on the front. There would also be a mid-train DPU. And an old Chessy System boxcar. An awesome catch. And then, just a few moments later here, a second Chessy System boxcar. Later that day, a bit of foreign power with the Norfolk Southern unit leading. And a second Norfolk Southern unit runs mid-train DPU here. unit having the new CSX website logo. And here we see an RJ Corman gondola car. It was now the middle of June, and we'd have a YN2-9 trailing. And a little bit after that, we catch this train with a Dash 9 and a Dash 8. And a CSX big blue box car brings up the rear here. It was the middle of July now, and we'd catch this southbound with a very beat up Union Pacific unit in the lead. And an old Chicago Northwestern boxcar. And another Union Pacific unit runs mid-train DPU in AC 4460 CW. Awesome. It was now August, and we'd be in Lebanon, Ohio, at the Lebanon, Mason, and Monroe Railroad for the summer steam train event to catch Jet O'Cole number 85 here.
and we would of course follow it on its run that day. Then we would catch it a few more times. And here we see it pass the Lebanon, Mason, and Monroe's two diesel locomotives that are on the sidetrack here. We'd also get this quick shot of it parked at the station. You'd hear some of their diesel locomotives. Nickel plate 901 here. And in front of it, we have a high hood CNO locomotive number 5704. for quite some time so it's now the beginning of November and a tip on Facebook had us waiting almost eight hours to catch this train but the lead locomotive wasn't what we were waiting for Check that out, this train's mid-train DPU is the brand new CSX Operation Lifesaver Unit. We would also catch a November coal train with a BNSF locomotive leading.
That same day, we'd catch this northbound auto rack train with a YN2 unit leading. But check out what was on the rear end of this train. A rusty old patched up caboose. Awesome. Well, folks, that's all for our best catches of the year. Extra long rail fan special for 2022. I know it wasn't as long as normal, but like I said, I just didn't get to go rail fanning as much as I have in years past. But even though this year's video wasn't as long, I still feel like we got a few awesome catches here. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a happy and safe new year.